Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Hey, today we are working on a 2004 Honda Odyssey. It'll also work for a Honda Accord Pilot Ridgeline. This has a four-speed automatic transmission, and today we're going to be doing a uh, transmission flush. Um, before you do anything at all, the one thing you want to do, and the first thing you guys want to do before you drain the automatic transmission fluid from the bottom is see if you can break this bolt loose right there, the one that's painted yellow. Get a better shot of it real quick. It sits right there on top of the transmission and that is the fill plug. It's a 17 millimeter, but you wanna make sure that you can get this thing off before you drain all the fluid out because these things are known to be on there super tight. I don't know why, kind of like the crankshaft pulley bolt. They're just on there tight for some reason. So before you drain the fluid out from the bottom, make sure that you can get this off to fill it back up. Because if you can't get this off and you drain it, then you are up a creek without a paddle. So make sure you can get this bolt loose before you do anything else at all. I don't even have this vehicle up on jack stands yet. So, or ramps, I should say. I have ramps that I drive the vehicles up on because it's a lot easier. It's a lot more quick. So you plan to do a lot of work ramps make life so much easier if you're going to do oil changes or just DIY maintenance on your vehicles yourself. So let's see if I can get that thing loose. 17 millimeter. Okay, I'm going to be using a 3 8 extension with a 3 8 17 millimeter socket and a 3 8 breaker bar. But if you need to, go ahead upgrade to a half inch. Because these things These things can be on there super duper tight. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Feed this thing down in. Get it on top. Oh man. I totally split my finger open. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was stupid. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, lesson learned there, boys and girls. Ah. Wear gloves when you're doing this. Or use a half inch breaker bar. Oh, that hurts bad. <laughs> well, at least it's loose. All right, you can see it's loose. Okay, now I'm gonna put that back in just a little bit. So I'm gonna put the vehicle up on ramps, like I said, so install this. This thing is super hot. Okay, it's just on there. It's not even tightened. That hurt. Okay, let me put this vehicle up and I'll bring you guys back in once I uh, get this thing up on ramps. Right here at the bottom of the transmission is the drain plug for the, for the transmission. Automatic transmission fluid comes out of there. This vehicle was just driven, so it's pretty hot. As you can see, it's covered in ATF or a residue of ATF. To get this out, you don't need a socket, but what you do need is a 3 8 ratchet or breaker bar to get in there, and basically the 3 8 square piece just fits in there, and that's how you break it loose. So it's pretty easy once you do that. Just fits in there like this, so. Uh, let's see, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So it's going back towards the back of the uh, vehicle. So there, it's broken loose. This is going to be super hot. And uh, bring my uh, bring my drain bucket in here. Bucket, bring my drain bucket in. All right, let's do it. Open this thing up. The reason I'm doing this is because I used. Uh, was it Max Life ATF, Dex Mer Mercron? And everything I've read says that I should have used DW1 Honda, official Honda ATF fluid, automatic transmission fluid. So I'm actually gonna drain this stuff out and then refill it with the correct Honda transmission fluid because like I said, it threw a code PO407, I believe. If that's wrong, then I'll fix it. In editing but I think it was PO P 
PL407. The clutch. Though the torque converter wasn't engaging or something like that. So, so like I said, this stuff is super hot. It's going to come pouring out once I pull this plug. Try not to spill it on me or burn my arm. Oh yeah, that's hot. So I'm going to go eat dinner. Let that drain out for as long as I can. The longer you can let this drain, the better. I typically do oil changes that actually drain overnight. If you can drain your automatic transmission overnight as well, hey, more power to you. Um, the longer it drains, the better, you know, as far as getting all the old fluid out. So, like I said, I'm going to go get dinner and then come back and finish this up. This job is not really hard. The hardest thing is getting the uh, fill plug open, the bolt, the 17 millimeter bolt on top of the transmission off. I busted my finger doing it. So if you can get that off, you're, you know, 70 to 80 percent there. And then once this is all done draining, we'll go ahead and put the, put the plug, the drain plug back in and then get a funnel and fill up the transmission with a DW1 Honda automatic transmission fluid, the, the, the official transmission fluid from Honda. So let me see if I can show you that drain plug. So see, it's just a square like that. Look at all this residue on the magnet. That's just too hot to grab, so. All right, see all this stuff coming off on my fingers? This is all clutch material from the transmission. You don't want to see that. That's not a good sign, so see how dark it is? Pretty nasty stuff, and you know it's metallic because it's, you know it is metallic because it is sticking to this magnet. So clean that magnet off as well as you can. Clean the drain plug off as well as you can. And I wanted to show you, see the, just a square. You put the 3 8 ratchet or breaker bar inside of there and that's how you break it free. There is no, you know, it's not a 10, 12, 14, 17 millimeter that you need. Just the 3 8 square to get in there. Clean off the magnet. And let that drain. I'm going to go get some dinner. I'll come back and fill it up. You can see that all the ATF is drained out. So we'll go ahead, have dinner, put the kids to bed. Let's plug this thing back in. I'll probably end up doing this one more time. Maybe two more times. Just to make sure all the old ATF is out. So go ahead, take your rag. Clean all that up. These cases are known for leaking, especially right here. So that's what you've probably seen all the residue from. Tighten up the drain plug. Just snug, you don't have to be Superman when you do this. Okay, there. Done. Get your rag. Clean that up a little bit. I'm going to watch that for leaks, but like I said, I probably won't. i doing it. end up doing it a couple more times. Here's your, mo here's your transmission mounts. There's one here. There's one back there. That one looks good, decent. I guess if I really wanted to check it, I should get a, get a crowbar, a piece of metal, stick it in there, and try to pry it up. That you can see if it's broken or not. Too many they crack, and it's very easy to spot, so but it is just a piece of rubber between two pieces of metal. So just check those while you're down here. All right, let's fill this bad boy up. All right, right here, 17 millimeter fill plug. So let's go ahead and take that out. There's an aluminum washer there, so make sure you grab that as well when you pull it out. So here, see, there it is right there. This also says on top, ATF, so it's pretty hard to to miss when you're looking for this when you're looking for the fill plug on top of the transmission so that says ATF I painted it yellow not too long ago just to make it a little bit easier to spot just weird that way for some reason I really like yellow I want to do the uh, 
One day I want to do some valve covers painted yellow, like Caterpillar yellow. <laughs> Why? Just because I can. Okay, I got an extra one funnel here. Go ahead and place that down. Kind of just fish that around, get that down into the, into the correct spot. Right here is the vacuum hose for the brake booster. Leads into the intake. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off because I need to get the funnel right down. Here. So let me get some needle nose and I'll try to break that free real quick. Sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't see this, but I'm just pulling that clip back a little bit. I'm gonna work this hose off, get it out of the way, so I can get the funnel in place. Okay, got that out of the way. Go ahead, bring my funnel. All right, there you go. You can see the funnel is in place. All right, I'm gonna put three quarts of the official Honda transmission fluid. That's it. Honda ATF DW1, which replaces ATF Z1. This is updated stuff right here, so. I bought this on Amazon.com for about 10 bucks a quart, like 10.59, 10.60. So like I said, we're gonna do three quarts. There it is. Three quarts of this stuff, and then we're gonna I'll back it off the ramps and then uh, check the level. The the transmission actually has to be warm to check the level. So probably do three quarts, drive it around, and then. Uh, and then check it once the once I done get done doing a test drive. Like I said, I'll probably do this maybe one or two more times after this just to make sure I get all the um, old transmission fluid out of there. This is a very easy preventive maintenance step. The hardest part is getting that uh, fill plug off, nice and red. Make sure it's not overflowing or spilling down there. It's kind of a stupid thing to mention, but I've seen guys do it where they leave the uh, drain plug off, whether that be an oil change or an automatic transmission fluid change or even a manual transmission fluid change. Just make sure you get that plug on, the drain plug back on before you start filling up the engine, the transmission, the differential, because uh, if you don't, you're gonna have a big, huge mess on your hands. Uh, I, haven't, I, I haven't done it personally, but I've seen guys do it. Just a little bit embarrassing when you're on the shop and transmission is all over, transmission fluid or engine oil is sitting all over the ground on the concrete and then you got to take time out of your day when you could be making money cleaning up a, a mess that could have been avoided. So Here's the second quart. I like to leave the bottle in the funnel while I open the next one just so it gives it that much more time to get all the rest of the fluid out. Because this stuff is expensive stuff and you want to get as much as you can out of the bottle. So I do that with transmission fluid, engine oil. Okay, here's a third one. I'm actually probably gonna do just about half of it or three quarters of the bottle. Reason being is that it's easier to put in to add more fluid than it is to take away. Add that in. I'll take this vehicle for a test drive and come back and test the, test the level. Like I said, it's easier to add transmission fluid or engine oil than it is to take away. So, All right, so got that done. Got that, got that. Don't forget your catch pan on the bottom. So I'll go ahead and pull this funnel up out of the way. Get a rag just so you can catch any residue you don't get over your engine. Uh, let's make sure we get the pipe back on place. The tube for the brake booster. So that's back in place. Put the clip for the brake booster back in place. And then I will put the fill plug for the ATF back. And you just have to snug this up. You don't have to tighten it very much. 
I don't know why these fill plugs get so tight over time, but they do. So, all right. That is how you do an automatic transmission fluid change on the Honda Acura V6 J Series engine. I'm going to take this out for a test drive up at two and a half quarts, two, maybe a little bit more than two and a half, two and three quarters. I'm going to take it out for a test drive, bring it back, check the fluid level while the engine is still warm. Actually, Honda says not to have the engine hot and not to have it cold. It's supposed to be warm, whatever that means. They don't give you a Fahrenheit or Celsius rating on what the transmission should be, but uh, it just says warm. Uh, so, like I said, I'll do a test drive, come back, check it out, add a little bit more if need be, but uh, it's really not that hard of a job to do this. Just make sure that you, that you use uh, DW1 official Honda transmission fluid when changing out your transmission fluid, because I used, I actually used Max Life ATF with Suratec from, Liqu from Liqui Mali. Um, and then I got a uh, P0740, which has to do with your uh, torque converter, I believe, if I remember correctly. You can Google it, P0740. Uh, the reason I did that, the reason I used this combination is I was actually, I actually get a clunk when I go, f when, the, when the vehicle is cold, when I go from park to reverse, there's a big, huge clunk. Sounds like a like a loud bang or even like a motor mount or a transmission mount is shot. So I wanted to see if I changed out uh, the old ATF fluid with Suratec and Max Life, if that would make any difference. But it actually made things worse. Um, it threw a code. Prior to that, prior to that, I was just using Max Life ATF and really hadn't had any issues. So I think Suratec is good for engines. But uh, when it comes to transmissions, I would just say use the use the factory transmission fluid, whatever your vehicle calls for. So now I am actually going to use Honda Genuine ATF DW1 and see if that makes any difference with the uh, banging that I'm experiencing from park to reverse. And the funny thing is it only happens when the engine is cold, when the vehicle is cold, when the transmission is cold. Once the transmission warms up, once it's been driven for five to ten minutes, I can go to a parking lot, go from reverse, from park to reverse, and nothing. Just shifts normally. So, we'll see what happens. But, like I said, that's how you do a transmission change, ATF change, on the Honda J-Series V6. If you found any of my videos helpful, please subscribe. Questions, comments, concerns, you can email me at bundysgarage at gmail.com. Leave a comment on YouTube, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.